I mean, I think I know maybe your answer on this, but this has been a, an issue that's come up like sensitivity in comedy that people, right. some people are of the, of the mindset that, you know, oh, people are getting too sensitive. You can't right. go to those places. Right. And other people, you know, think it's a good thing. Um, right. yeah. wh where do you kind of stand on well, this? Well, I noticed that the people who are saying you can't say anything are saying everything on Netflix for $20 million a whack. So I don't know that that rings true to me. The other thing is that audiences may be sensitive, but nobody is more sensitive than a comedian. I spend my day overreacting to petty injustices and my evenings railing outraged to strangers for a loss most nights, a financial loss. I make less money than I spend on Uber and Lyft every night to share my anger with the audiences. So I don't know. I, I think that there's probably a, a balance, but I'm, I'm not worried that free, my free speech is being in, encroached. And maybe you can't make millions of dollars saying everything you want, but you can still go out every night and say everything you want. And sometimes the audience has grown, and sometimes they don't laugh. And yes, that's painful, but I'm not, I'm not worried. Okay. Yeah. Good answer. All right. <laughs> Good question, too. Thank you. Remaining well, in the zeitgeist, Brian Welk. 